In a separate shooting, one man died after he was shot in front of a restaurant in Orlando's tourist district. We mapped out all of the shootings for you over the past 24 hours just in Orange County. Now police and deputies are starting to make arrests. News 6's Clay Lepard is live on International Drive where that man was shot and killed. So Clay, what are police telling you? Eric, officers say the investigation is underway. We are standing in the shadows of some iconic attractions here along I Drive. However, this popular spot for tourists became a crime scene Saturday morning. Just one of several shootings police say they handled overnight. A busy weekend for officers and deputies in Orlando and Orange County, dealing with at least four shootings. Orlando police says 26 year old Daquan Prentice died at a hospital after he was shot in the parking lot of this Burger King. Officers say it's not clear what led up to Prentice's death or who was involved. That's not the only investigation keeping officers busy. Two other shootings in Orlando happened in the early morning hours, according to officers, including one here at the Windsor Cove Apartments on Mercy Drive, where four people were shot, including a five year old girl. Officers say that girl is doing okay and was released from the hospital. However, Reginald Prince, who was among the four people shot, now faces charges, including attempted second degree murder. Elsewhere in Orange County, deputies arrested 29 year old Hector Brito and charged him with attempted first degree murder after they say he got into a fight with someone he knew and shot that 40 year old man along North Forsyth Road. That man is expected to be okay. Just to be clear, officers do not say that any of these shootings are connected. They all just happened within a few hours of each other here in Orlando and Orange County. Along I Drive, Clay Lepard getting results news six. And as we find out more tonight, we'll post it on clickorlando.com. Clay, thank you.